Alright, welcome back, Pokemon Go players, to another episode of the Purify Podcast. Today is November 26th, 2022. I am your host, Luis Palacios, with my co-host, Chris. Hey, it's your boy, Pokemon Trigger, please. We're back at it again with more Pokemon Go news. It's been a little bit of a while, <laughs> uh, so we got we got some news for you. Uh, yeah, we got, we got a bit of news um, for the end of the month and also the end of the season, I guess. Uh, we could have waited a little bit longer for December, but I feel like at that point we're actually just staying behind. So we're going to just recap, I don't know, two weeks now? Oh my lord. <laughs> uh, two weeks worth of gameplay, um, just things that uh, has been going on and hasn't been going on. Uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, and let me look, actually looks at the last podcast notes. We did talk about all the events that were happening before then and then the events that are happening now. Of course, we had a little intermission between events, and then now we're a full-on event going on. Niantic is, um, is definitely putting the, the final touches on this month um, during a lot of different things, for sure. Uh, but <laughs> at the same time, at least this last week, uh, a brand new generation came out, Generation 9. Uh, the Beldea region, Scarlet and Violet, has finally come out to switch this out there with... Probably one of the best, if not the best, Nintendo re uh, re uh, release in actually forever, I think so. <laughs> um, Pre-orders were actually crazy for Scarlet and Violet. They actually broke records. I think it was like over 12. I, I really don't remember the pre-order numbers. I just know that everybody was talking about that. Everybody was actually getting the pre-orders and everything. However, they did release a three-day window after the release of the game. And... Um, they actually sold over 10 million copies in only three days. Yes, and, sir. And I was, and, and everybody's saying is like, this is the biggest, the biggest Nintendo release of all time. <laughs> and good for good note, the game is addicting. Um, very addicting to the point I actually almost played it the entire week. <laughs> oh, God. I heard that it has the best story out of any Pokemon oh, game. Yeah. So I, I'm definitely excited to play through it uh, when my game finally shows up. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, it, it is. Um, I did beat it. I, I actually almost, almost at this point, completed the Pokedex. Uh, I'll probably be playing another version too, just to get those going. Uh, and then Shiny Hunt for the rest of uh, the next three years or so, depending on how long this game generation is going to be. Uh, but yeah, I, I kudos to uh, the Pokemon company for releasing a good game. Aside from all the performance issues that they're having, of course, but eh, that's that's for the the whiners out there, you know. It, it's been hilarious to watch, though. To be honest, it has been, it has been, yeah. But we're again, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Pokemon Go news, update, and ranting about the game because we love the game just as much as you do. Uh, don't forget to check us out at the Professor Network. Uh, uh, yeah, with wonderful people to work with every single time. Uh, you can see that I haven't done a podcast in a couple of weeks, so um, I'm definitely definitely it's messing up. up everything. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, I mean, I'm just going to go back to, uh, to, to Scarlet and Violet after this anyway, so there's not much difference there. Anyways, uh, yes, wonderful people to work with every single day. Uh, they're having a, a lot of going on today and tomorrow, actually, which really is, um, that's what we're going to be talking about today, definitely. Uh, but let's recap. We actually have uh, two weeks worth of recaps to go through, so I guess Chris... I don't think I have talked to you in two weeks either, so you better tell me what's going on. Oh, <laughs> uh, funny enough, uh, before I even look, like, while it's loading in, um, there was a point where I had three days in a row that I did my adventure sync. Mm -hmm. In all three days, I got a shiny from my uh, adventure incense. Oh, really? Yeah, I was like, uh, oh, huh? Uh huh. Um, and one of them was kind of funny because uh, it was a Sneasel shiny right at the end of it for the third day. Uh, so that that oh was my pretty God. funny. Um, Hilarious. <laughs> uh, I don't have any four stars. I think it all started with a uh, a Lolan rat on the twelfth. Nice. Um, so, you know, I added that to the family and then the adventure incense, I got another shiny rat. Uh, thank you, I guess. Uh, and then on my way home from work, it was like 11, 15, I put on the go plus and I started the adventure incense and I got a shiny Lickitung. 
um, from the Adventure Incense. So that was, that was pretty cool to see. That's pretty good. Um, and then the next day, I believe I had off. And uh, that's when I got the Shiny Sneasel at the end. And then um, I think it was the day after I uh, pulled up at uh, the college that we go to mm. uh, when we're hunting. And um, I got a shiny Alolan Vulpix. I, I, you know, you know when you click on it that it's gonna be the shiny, uh, even though it is like a very minute <laughs> shiny. Uh, other than that, it's just been PvP Pokemon. All right. Um, I'm trying to like peek through really quick to see if there's any like crazy, crazy ones. Um, I got a 98 Bisharp that was pretty cool. A really good PvP. P, uh, Phantom for Trevenant for Great League or Ultra League, it's probably going to be my Great League boy. Nice. Um, yeah, my Shadow Mewtwo sucked. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, <laughs> but yeah, other than that, it hasn't been too crazy. Um, but yeah, lots of fun Pokemon to hunt. Yeah, well, we were just uh, we had the whole uh, Gluttony event uh, happening where, of course, um, What's the name of that Pokemon Ultra Beast? Uh, Guzzlord. Guzzlord, thank you. Uh, my friend the is now. The Guzzy I know, right? Um, well, Guzzlord is out and about. And we had that whole event happening since we're recapping at this point. Uh, a lot of big mouth Pokemons. <laughs> Chunky. Like, Chunky ones, for sure. Um, I did. Uh, let me let me check, because I, I at this point I haven't even checked anything. I did do a cleanup the other day, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I did tell about the Starly that I actually caught. I remember that. I got the Teddy Orsa from Community Day. That's that. I got a Murkrow from a research. You know that. Uh, Nidoran. While Hondo Nidoran, when I was gold plusing, I remember I was playing with um, one of my friends in, a lo- in our one of our local stores. And they had two Pokestops, so I had my gold plus running the entire time. So it was a, at the beginning, it was level one. I had power up since then. So... <laughs> And then I get a Hondo Milk Ten from uh, an egg, the uh, a couple of days ago. Interesting. So, yeah, I, that's my second one. Uh, so unless uh, Milk Ten gets another evolution next generation. <laughs> yeah, it, it's honestly uh, interesting that it hasn't gotten an evolution. That's right. But I mean, like, look at Tauros. <laughs> and as for shinies, uh, community day shinies, we already know. Uh, on the thirteen, I got a uh, shiny Bidoof. God Bidoof. shiny Bidoof. pretty good. Uh, I did get a shiny Ratata using the Gold Plus on the 15. Shiny Snorlax from the Glutinous event. That's my third one. And of course, this one doesn't have the hat, but I still have the rarest one. Good job. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't get just one, but two shiny Bulpix. A lot of Bulpix from this event that we're going to be talking about pretty soon. And then I hatched a shiny Rockruff. So the shinies literally have been going on <laughs> this last two weeks for me. Um, just keep on, I guess. And uh, one of the Bulbies is level one, too. Level one shiny. Bulbies. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm still hunting uh, Rock Ruff, so I'm, I'm definitely jelly of that one. Well, yeah, because, I mean, just by um, hatching yeah, it. Yeah, you I'm need three. Like, yeah, I need, I need one more, I guess. Actually, two more. One for the family, so one more for the oh, family. Oh, I thought you, oh, oh, for the Rock Ruff. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll keep catching hex, but this week have me been inside the house the entire time, so I haven't even. I, I barely walked ten kilometers this week. Oh lord. Um, I don't know. It may change tomorrow depending on what we're doing, anyways. Um, <laughs> but that just depends. I just gotta get the research done and go back home. I think. <laughs> I've been on vacation, so I kind of just been like literally doing nothing, and that's the best part because now once I come back out of vacation, I'm gonna be like, okay, yeah, that, that that's it's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so the Glutinous event, uh, I guess we should give it a rating. I know it's been a little bit while since it ended. And honestly, I'm just going to give it like a, maybe a 5 out of 10. I don't think there was anything that I really, really wanted out of that. A 5? Oof. Do mind the boxes um, are still trash. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'd say like, while it was exciting, uh, having a non-shiny uh, 5 star is always a setback. Mm. Uh, the research rewards weren't horrible, but they, they weren't, weren't the best. Yeah, they you weren't know, we couldn't, either. Yeah, we couldn't hunt uh, Munchlax or Snorlax or anything oh, from the uh, research. And you know, if you got execute, you were just crying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'd I'd probably give it a seven. Um, 
while it wasn't, you know, anything crazy, especially when you compare it to something like the Halloween event or mm-hmm. the, uh, the Christmas it's like, event. It's going I, up I and then going down right. before that. November has never been that kind of like event kind of team unless they really Yeah, it's, it's just it. a bridge. You and know, and that's basically what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what happened. And just like you said, it's a bridge. It's a bridge between two months. Even though Thanksgiving was just a couple of days ago, I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Be thankful for everything. We're always thankful for our community. Sorry, we really didn't talk. Thankful for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, we should have released a podcast before then, but I was like, hey, you know what? I, like, let's just let's just get it out of the way eventually. <laughs> I'm too I'm too tired to think about anything aside from the news anyway. So, uh, We're in that food coma. I know, right? Uh, we also had, you know, uh, Nihello is back in raids now that uh, the new event is happening. Uh, and then we'll talk about all that in just a moment anyways. But now we're into a brand new month, or I guess in that to a brand new week of the month, and almost at the end of the month. So we're about to end the season of light. Yes, the season of light. It's almost over. Um, it feels, at this point, it feels like forever. But at the same time, I feel like the month just, like, flew by, especially this last week. Um... It's just been one of those days, I guess, uh, when it comes down to it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on the recaps. Uh, there's actually a couple more things that we can just anonymously say. Uh, if you haven't noticed and you haven't updated your game, uh, we do have a speed increase where everything's dialed to 1,000. <laughs> so if you go into a Pokemon screen capture, the game is actually running at a faster FPS. Um, which is surprisingly from from Niantic, but everything is fast. Like if you go into the balloon that I have been sitting there for a while, the the rocket just like zooms in into the camera, <laughs> and then I do the battle, and then it it just it just it just it's just super fast. Even the rewards from raids, uh, hatches, everything has been actually like dialed to eleven. How how do you feel about this, Chris? Uh, I cannot complain about it. The only downside I can see. Uh, you know, I see a lot of upsides, but the only downside I can see from the top of my head um, is, you know, trying to get shiny pictures. Oh, yeah. Because um, I know that can be pretty troublesome. So now that you make it, you know, three times as fast, <laughs> three, <I feel laughs> that, like that's little... going to be pretty hard yeah, to, yeah. if you if you guys try to get one uh, from the encounter screen. Uh, uh, I would yeah. just take a screen recording, though, if you guys want that. That could help, too. And Drowsy is finally getting to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I like it. Uh, I feel like the game is the last movie oh, yeah. for that reason. Um, it makes quick catching like phenomenas. Like uh, before, I actually had to like tie my throats and everything. Now I can just like click on the Pokemon, quick catch, go back. Da, 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 da. It's like it's like doing it in AR at this point. <laughs> Dude, yeah, for a calm day, that this is going to be insane. Yeah. Which, I'm, I'm really interested to see what people can do for uh, the next comp day. Yeah, definitely. So it's an improvement. Although at the same time from improvement, there's always a couple of things that unfortunately you know, go down the hill. And we'll talk about that once we get to that in a moment. Uh, but yeah, yeah let's that, get... that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> let's get into the research topics uh, before this week ends and this month ends. Because if not, people are going to be like, where are you? Well, <laughs> I mean, I've been playing Pokemon. Just a different type of Pokemon. Uh, but yeah. So the next thing is that save the dates. Community days have actually the dates for community day has been announced. It's time to plan it out for the rest of December, uh, November, um, November, <laughs> December, January, and February, which is the next season. We still don't know what the name of the season is. Uh, I think doesn't it November or I'm sorry, December first isn't it like next Thursday or something. Um, it might be next Friday. Uh, that may, yeah, no, I think you're right. It's Thursday, yeah, it's Thursday. Thursday, it feels like that, anyways. Um, but yeah, so save the dates for Community Day Classic, Community Day December, uh, January, and February, of course. So here we go. Uh, the final. Community, what it says right here, the season of slice final community day is behind us, which was 30 or so community day. Um, we'd like to share the next com- save that community day dates, which I'm always liking because at least gives us some time to plan it out and things like that. So it's not, bad. yeah. Although I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do the December ones, I, I know at least one of the days I'll be able to, but I'm not sure about the, the first one, anyways. Uh, December 17 to December 18, which is Saturday to Sunday, 
Look forward to returning all Community Day Pokemons featuring in 2022 and 2021 in one exciting weekend. We know this was going to happen. We know that Niantic always does this for all the Community Days. Um, every year we have, you know, the same recruiting kind of thing. Just to wrap up the year and be like, okay, no FOMO will be allowed this year. You'll be able to catch things. Chris is looking at the all the li uh, uh, liquids that he's going to catch. <laughs> all the liquids. Oh, the Legos, I know. You know, Dratini could fly or uh, float. Yeah, that's how he looks in the map. <laughs> yeah, Dratini can fly. Yeah, he can fly. Yeah, well. Or, uh, or Dragonair. Dragonair, yeah, Dragonair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, then we have Saturday, January 7th uh, of 2023. Uh, will be the next, the very first community day of the year. When we also have January 21st community day classic. I kind of like that they're doing it at the beginning of the season. So it gives us a little more punch. Um, especially at the beginning of the year, too, since usually there's not a lot of going on. <laughs> and then we have Sunday, February 5th uh, of 2023. So a Saturday, Sunday, two Saturdays after that, and then a Sunday at the end of the season. So it's not too bad. Uh, you get to plan out things when it comes down to it. Any thoughts on those dates, Chris? Anything specifically? Uh, no, just a lot of Pokemon to look forward to, honestly. Um, I'm hope. glad that they're still keeping with the tradition of uh, doing the December Calm Day uh, of, like, featuring the whole years. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely okay with that, too. Uh, but then that's not all. Here are the days for additional in-game events in December. So December, or I'm sorry, starting on Saturday, December 3rd, I guess we're going to have an event happening next weekend. Uh, Saturday, mm -hmm. December 10th to Sunday, uh, December 11th, and then Saturday, December 24th, all the way to Sunday, December 25th, which, you know, Christmas time. It's Christmas Day. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to be planning because, again, this is a day to just be home with family, with friends, uh, you know, those kind of things. I don't know exactly what they want us to do. I know I'll be working on the 24 until like 12 o'clock and then I have to prepare everything to go to my parents' house for the for, for Christmas. You know, all those things. It's, I don't know. I don't, I'm not too hype about that just because at the end of the day, I feel like it's just going to be a hard FOMO for everybody playing the game those days. Yeah, I think that uh, reminds me of when uh, EX raids were a thing. It was either Thanksgiving or Christmas last year. Yeah, it was. Uh, or, or two today, years two, ago, two, maybe. three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah, no. um, there was a EX raid for uh, one of the legendaries uh, during one of those days. And I was like, really? You guys are putting it out on a holiday. That's yeah, interesting yeah. choice. Well, I think it wasn't more that it was a holiday. It was more like how, thou, how they... Um, they trigger, uh, and yeah. they had a set pattern in triggering, and unfortunately, it did fall during the Christmas time and all that. Some people yeah. were really bothered by it because, unfortunately, it happened to have uh, the EX ray on a mall or something like that, where you cannot access it on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day in that regard. So, people were. Yeah, pissed. I, guess, I guess that's one of the plus sizes of not having a plus sizes. <laughs> one of the pluses. <laughs> Of uh, not having a Chris, EX raids. I, do I gotta get Julie moment. on you or something? Like, what the heck? <laughs> Don't worry, she's not wearing plus sizes. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so those are the dates. Uh, you know, things there to understand, prepare, things like that. Uh, I like the in advance kind of deal when it comes down to those. So uh, it is what it is. Well, Saturday 3rd, I don't know. Maybe it might be a raid day. And then Saturday 10th to the 11th, again, I just... It's like... Something happening though, every single weekend as, after that. So, is there a Pokemon you want to see in the next coming community days? Uh, definitely the starters for generation. I want to see Phantom. Phantom. That's gonna probably gonna be a October for next year. Yeah, I, I I don't think it's gonna come anytime soon, but I'm I'm hope. I mean, Mimikyu needs to be released, and that hasn't been released since yet. So, I, I'm always gonna bring up Kecleon, but yeah, no, nah, <laughs> he he can't be a Kecleon? calm day for his first release. I, but. Kecleon, it's here's the thing. We're so close to next year at this point that we can probably speculate. Um, the Gold Tour for Generation Three, Kecleon is part of Generation Three. If they don't allow us to catch it at any point yeah. during that time, we cannot complete the decks. Yeah, are they just waiting for that? <laughs> I think that's <laughs> they what they might doing. just be at this point. They might just be, and it's gonna be like just like they did with Stuffle. They're gonna release it and give us the shiny availability too. So. It just depends on how or when are we going to be able to actually see it. And that's going to be, like, really hard because that's in February time. So, 
I'm 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 optimistically hopeful that they're gonna do it right. But at the same time, I feel like their their time is up. There's there's nothing else that they can do if they do not give us on that day specifically. Everything will go like everything will go downhill from them. <laughs> well, not everything, but you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, that's the speculations for the future. It is what it is. Well, Chris, how about um, we talk about the next uh, next little incoming event? I guess little little ultra event <laughs> going on. Uh, we had Guzzlord come in, but. Uh, we're having a lot more going on mm. because uh, the reports are in. A surge of Ultra Beasts is appearing right now, and it's not uh, the, it's not the new or Ultra Beasts or anything. This is this is basically the same thing we've had since summer. <laughs> oh yeah, um, which I've, I don't know. I, I guess this is like post game for them because we're we we've been going about every single Ultra Beast at this point, and it's just kind of being like. Why do we have it? It's the shiny release, you know, things like that. But I guess not. Yeah. So. <laughs> At this point, it's really, you know, do you need extra large candy for these? Uh, do you need a hundo? We'll try and get one now because you're not gonna get a chance probably after this. <laughs> yeah, which it's uh, a pain in the butt because I know that some Pokemon's there that I want hundo. I just don't want to do go super hard on them just yet. Um, I don't know if a guy was trolling, but I did see that uh, somebody rated 15,000. Oh, God. It was either 15,000 or 1,500. I think it was 1,500 for Guzzlord. Well, and let's he's look like, at Yo, where's my shiny? Oh, <laughs> uh, God dang. Um, so, yeah, the Ultra Beasts are back. Uh, this time in full force for one final spectacular weekend, I guess I should say. Uh, it's happening actually this weekend. Uh, I know we're a little late when we announce it, but this is how it's happening. So the Ultra Beast Arrival Global is happening from Sunday, November 27, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time. So tomorrow, if I get this podcast out in the morning for anybody listening to it, um, tomorrow this is what's happening. Uh, the Ultra Beast emerges starting in five-star race, just like before. We're going to have a bundle of Ultra Beasts happening around the world, some of them in their specific region. So ourselves in the Americas, we have Nihello, but what Buzzwall and Guzzlord in uh, five star rates. Asia Pacific region is gonna have Nihello, Circuitry, and Guzzlord, which unfortunately I don't think anybody's gonna be sending me any a circuitry anytime soon. <laughs> uh, in Europe, Nihello, Feromosa, and Guzzlord uh, once again. Uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, we're gonna have Cartana. In the Southern Hemisphere, we're gonna have Celestia. So that's not changing. However, it feels like we're just going to have Katana, Guzzlord, and Buzzworld everywhere in the no nine hells around anyways. Yeah, I, I am glad we got uh, Buzzworld, honestly, though. That's true. However, that, my, that is not the last thing. Um, luckily, the, uh, there's going to be a time research that will allow you to actually catch every single one of the Ultra Beasts. So you'll have at least one. However, the research is uh, it's a time research. You have to do it between the 11 and 5 to finish it, finish it off. Uh, and it's just two rates. Uh, actually, somebody, I think Soy2 does tweet it out earlier today. And he said, you just need to finish up to seven rates. That's it. That's all you need to do. If the amount of Ultra Beasts are going to be happening during that day specifically, you just might as well do it. Get out of the way. And then go on with your life, if that's the point. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it is what it is on that. Then there is a team effort moment. So starting on Monday, November 21st, which... It was this past Monday. Until Saturday, November 26th, which is today, <laughs> you can contribute your efforts with trainers around the world to reap additional rewards. As trainers meet challengers, uh, focus on referring friends to join, new bonuses will be available for everybody during the Ultra Beast Arrival Global. If we refer 50,000 trainers, all trainers will receive a lore module via a bundle in in-game shop. Chris, check your bundle. <laughs> and then... If we refer 100,000 trainers, all trainers will be able to use Beast Balls when facing Ultra Beast during the Ultra Arrival Global. Let me finish up the bonuses and everything, and then we'll talk about that. <laughs> A free lore module, yo! <laughs> <laughs> um, the event bonuses, 1.25 experience more when winning raid battles against Ultra Beast. It couldn't be two. Yeah, a lot of people say it about that. <laughs> so many ult guns. I uh, will talk about that in a second. Increased chance to receive rare Excel candy for in-person raids. So 
technically go out there and raid them. And I uh, received up to five additional raid passes by spinning Pokemon, uh, you know, gym stops and all that. And then the bonuses for group play. So when you defeat the Ultra Beast in a raid battle, the following Pokemon will appear around the gym that hosted the raid for a short duration, which has been happening every single time. Uh, Machoke, Scyther, Magmar, Gulpin, Absol, Minchino, Frelish, and Denny. If you're lucky, you can encounter a shiny one, depending on which one has been released. And also, Minchino that appear under this circumstances will have an increased chance of being shiny. Ooh. So that's interesting. Uh, I know, Chris, you're going to be working, so there's no point of you even thinking about it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll just be trying to do uh, the seven raids on my 15-minute breaks. Yeah, there you go. You got a few hours there. Okay, so that is the Ultra Beast imminent global event arrival, whatever they, you know, they've been calling it. They've been going on, on, on and on and about, about on Twitter. So every time I get a notification from them, it's like, it's imminent. People are citing Ultra Beasts and all that. Which, to be fair, the lore behind it is pretty cool. I like how they're trying to really reel in the players and all that uh, to the whole mechanic of Ultra Beasts and everything for a final, you know, a spectacular ending to the season of light and all that. I'm loving all of it. Don't get me wrong. However, there's a few things that Chris and I really have to say about these things. <laughs> so first and foremost, the Ultra Beasts. Um, I know there's a few that I wish I could do multiple softs just to get the extra large candy. However, the way that it's set up, it doesn't feel like it. It feels like a global, uh, just like global Go Fest, where the Ultra Beasts are just being spawned in there for every two hours or things like that. Chris, what are your thoughts on the Ultra Beast returning one last time this um, season of Light Time? Uh, okay, I lost Chris. Anyways, <laughs> we'll see how it goes in just a moment, guys. Um, but yeah, so the Pokemons that we are thinking uh, at this moment, Night Hello, it's really good in Master League. I wish I can get a good one of that. Boswell, it's really good in the uh, Master League and Grey League, if you could get it under 1500. Um, we have, I believe, Cartana being one of the best grass type attackers in the entire game. Uh, Buzzler, uh, unfortunately, doesn't really get anything. Circuitry is probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, electro type attacker in raids. Um, and then Celestila and Faramosa, unfortunately, getting the end, end of the stick. So, unfortunately, those are the Good ones. I, like I said, I wish I could actually do that at a Hellos and the bus walls as much as possible, but I know that they're going to be all over the place and everything. Chris, are you still there? Can you hear me? Guess not. Technical difficulties, guys. Yeah, gotta love it, even the podcast form. <laughs> However, the time research actually does really help uh, to those encounters because most of them, unfortunately, are part... <laughs> Uh, to be able to get it under 1500. So I think every single one of them having to be under 1500 is really good. Uh, I know Bus will be very good on that. I'm not sure about Nihello. If you get a Hondo, that's great too. You know, things like that. Uh, Chris, I was talking about like what's the potential best Ultra Beast to go through. And of course, I know I lost you somewhere around the line. Uh, what are your... Uh, hold on, I, can, I cannot hear you either way. I cannot hear you still. Da, da, da. Nope, nothing. Microphone issues here, everybody. Gotta love it. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Uh, I'll be holding up for a second. But anyways, yeah, the, uh, uh, just <laughs> this volume isn't working at all. I know. I there know. we go. There you go. All right. Yeah, it, it was a Discord issue. Oh. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. Uh, it's going to be awesome seeing these under 1500 there's still a lot of legendaries we don't have under 1500 that's true uh so getting these ultra beasts is definitely uh gonna be supreme mm -hmm. uh, i mean like look at the reggies that we got under uh 1500 i don't think we could get those from the raids maybe we could um, um i don't think so no uh you can get you can get reggie steel under 1500 but oh, the other ones like, i mean yeah. he was like the best one to get anyways yeah uh, but um, but I was also telling yeah, them it's that very rare. Nihello and Boswell being the best, two of the best, you know, new Master League. Uh, Boswell also being great in Great oh. League and, and Ultra League. And then the other ones are usually just being raid, uh, eligible ones. And of course, Gosslor and Faramosa just being trash. <laughs> regardless yeah, of I, I, I could see Celesteela. Um, I forget what moves she has, but, you know, Skarmory has that supreme typing. Yeah. 
So uh, I could definitely see the type potential at least. That's true. That's true. But yeah, so that's that's the first part when it comes to this event. Then we have the team effort uh, the referral program that Niantic has been promoting since Monday. Um, safe to say we did it. Um, now the legibility of it, it's still questionable. <laughs> Dude, um, every single time they do one of these. It's just, it's interesting. And it's not something that you can just, you know, go ahead and be like, hey, you know, you want to pick up Pokemon Go? I'll give you my referral code and you can go ahead and do it. If they have, you know, if people have bigger communities that I can understand that. However, the way that it was going, it just didn't feel like we were going to get to it. Um, when the referral thing started, it started going up by 5%, 2 to 5% almost every five hours. And we're like, okay, this is this is at least getting something, you know. By Wednesday, we were we were somewhere around in the thirty percent, I think. Uh, by Friday, we somehow made it to fifty, somehow. <laughs> and um, and then after that, actually, I, I don't know why I'm guessing. <laughs> if I can just go to our good friends, the Pokemon Miners here, because they are the ones that usually give us most of the information. So if I go all the way down, let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Come on. Where are your... Oh, no. That's just that. Uh, yeah. So as of nine hours ago, the referral challenge has been completed, which, you know, it happened to correlate with what's happening in the uh, London, Europe area right now. Uh, 16 hours ago was 90%. Uh, yesterday was at 80% sometime in the morning, I guess. I'm not sure entirely. Um, you know, things like that happening. And then they kept increasing. At first, it was just a couple of like percentages per hour or something like that. Then they started telling us more in like what's going on. So on the twenty four, which was of course, um, you know, Thanksgiving time, we were only at sixty percent. So it was actually kind of interesting in that part. <laughs> when we reached the fifty percent on the twenty four, which was interesting, we did get a lower module, and then now everybody who's rating the ultra bees are getting their Beast Wolves. Again, nothing wrong saying that we didn't do it. I'm not sure, again, if it's legitimate or not. Mr. Hunter here was thinking that it's also, you know, a lot of old accounts. It could have happened. And, it is possible, yeah. And at the same time, I do want to know, like, what's really the percentage going up from, you know, 0 to 100% to the fur fur program? I know we had technically, you know... 50% of that has to be 50,000 and then 100% is 100,000 trainers refer, but it's, I just don't know if we're just that lucky, you know? <laughs> it, it definitely seems uh, kind of out there. I, I just don't think that many people get referred. Uh, don't get me wrong, there's definitely new players. Uh, I mean, just a couple of days ago, I think we actually reached like 8 billion people in the world, so I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, it, it's possible, but yeah, I, I always, I always, you know, kind of give it that look uh, it, whenever, <laughs> whenever they do one of these challenges. I would have been a little more optimistic if maybe the bigger YouTubers, you know, Mystic Seven or uh, Soy Two Dots and even Fleet Skin, were actually being like, "Hey, let's go ahead and refer all our people and be like, okay, this is how it's coming out. <laughs> yeah. Baby's coming out of the wound and starting a Pokemon Go account. I can see that happen." <laughs> they they gotta get my referral link though. <laughs> I know, right? They can't just start playing. But that's the thing. It's like unless we had like the bigger communities out there doing it at the same time, it just doesn't feel real. Um, like I said, I'm not bashing to how it's happening or how it did happen. Uh, it's just more like why do it this way, you know? And I actually was listening to the Lura podcast earlier this week, and they were saying it's like. This really doesn't help the gameplay. It's like, I'm not immersed in the gameplay when I'm referring people. I'm just, it's just another part of the game where I'm just never, I'm never going to touch unless, you know, yeah, I start it, getting more people. It's kind of work at that point. Yeah. It's like Niantic making it their work for us and just get 100,000 people. Imagine if this was like, you know, a million people or something. At that point, I'd be like, yeah, you're crazy. Oh, oh no. Yeah, no. <laughs> if it was a million and it said we got it, no. Yeah. I would have called that out right away. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, but yeah, well, we did get it. So go ahead and get your free lore module in the shop. And then, of course, uh, once you do race, get your Beast Vault skin uh, at the end of that. And then the event bonuses, just like we mentioned, uh, 
1.525 experience, extra large candy in person raids, five more extra raid passes. If you stack up your raid passes, you can do all seven raids before the end of the day and you'll be good anyway. So, yay. All for free. Woohoo. Anyways, <laughs> spawns. Hey. Are there anything really good out of this spawns? I know Minshino is boosted if you do the raid, but. Hmm. Yeah, I got I, I got the same reaction, anyways. Um, but yeah, yeah, they're they're all right, but uh, nothing too wild. I'm still surprised. Uh, I'm still waiting on the Dene's shiny to come out because it, it keeps being in every single event, but it's not shiny yet. That's right. That's right. It's just a a whole interesting time, especially the house happening tomorrow. Um, I'll definitely try to do the ultra beast that I can during that day, uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna go super ham. Um, just to have a chance of extra large candy and its extra spawns and things like that. I don't know. The extra large candy, like saying uh, it's an increased chance and everything, that's never happened every time we do this kind of events. Anyway, so. Uh, hey, it's an increased chance. We turned it from point 0.1 to point 0.11. I know, right? <laughs> that's how it usually is. But, anyways, that's the Ultra Beast imminent event. Then we have another event that's happening right side to side. It happened a couple of days ago, but here it is. The Astral Eclipse event. The final event of November, the final event of the Season of Light. We knew of the name, but we didn't know exactly what was going on. Now we have the details. If you were wondering what was happening with Cosmo and Cosme, well, this is what's happening. <laughs> uh, look, uh, no need to look to the skies. Cosmo's Pokemon are the start of the upcoming Astral event, which is actually already here anyways. And was that Cosmo is ready to evolve or Cosme is ready to evolve? Could be evolution to, uh, evolution help us defend us from the Ultra Beast? Let's find out. So when this is happening, again, this was happening since Wednesday, November 23rd at 10 a.m. local time to Monday, November 28th at 8 p.m. local time. The Pokemon's debuts are going to be Solgaleo and Lunara. However, though, they are not in raids. They're making us evolve the Pokemon that we have. Cosmo, using 100 Cosmo candies. Between Solgaleo being in the daytime and Lunana being in the nighttime. Chris, give me your thoughts. I evolved mine to Solgaleo because I thought they were going to give me another Cosmog in the special <laughs> research. Uh, but yeah. I don't have another one and I wanted the Lunala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm crying. I know. They did say, now they didn't say when, but they did say that we're going to have additional Cosmos in the future. Yeah, I, I better get at least two more though. Like I, I want I want a Lunala and then I want to keep one as a Cosmog. Yeah, we need the the line, like the form of having the like the living decks kind of deal in the end of the day. So. Yeah. Yeah, there there's some people that um like they legit just try to have the whole Pokedex. So yeah. I, I feel bad for those people. But yeah, uh, sure. it is a weird time. <laughs> You know, Pokemon Go knows what we want, and they're like, hey, you're going to have some in the future, but deal with it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm just going to... Uh, I mean, I think the community has rage uh, when it comes down to the evolutions of all this. So. I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, we'll definitely probably see them, you know, in raids in the future, in the next... Probably, hopefully next month, but we don't know yet. Yeah, and we, and we need that shiny, man. They yeah. both have great shinies. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh, special research, as we mentioned, of course, you can evolve your Cosmo to Cosme and to Lulana and Solgaleo. So the special research is out there to help you with that, with a few extra steps. Uh, the Ultra Beast Arrival, which we did talk and mention and things like that. So here it's that. Nebula Sky. So if you actually go to the in-game right now, you can see the Nebula Sky is back after a uh, brief and long disappearance. And I believe this might be the last time we see the Nebula Sky unless people are, unless Niantic is like, uh, yeah, we want, want them again, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> Still pretty cool in the end of the day. Oh, yeah. Uh, wild encounters for t this event is Alolan Rattata, Alolan Sandro, Clefairy, Alolan Bulbix. That's how I got my shinies. Star you, Hood Hood, <laughs> something. Uh, Lun Lunaton and Solrock are here to stay. I'm not sure if they're going to go back in the regions. Muna, Cotney, Bellatil, uh, and then Jungus. And if you're lucky, you can get shiny ones. I think, I think there's only one non shinable Pokemon in this list. Which is yeah, that. yeah, just Petalil. Yeah, but hey, it is what it is. And I'm still not sure why those Pokemons are the part of the... I mean, some of them, it makes sense, but like Sunken? Because they're all Pokemon from Sun and Moon. 
I don't remember. <laughs> it's been six. I mean, years. I never played. I, I like. I only played through a little bit of it, but that's just my assumption. Well, Sun and Moon came out when Pokemon Go came out, so yeah, it's been six years at this point. Anyways, uh, raids we have Drifloon, Drift, uh, Frillish, both uh, male and female, NK and Rockruff. Three star raids will have Tentacruel, Dragon, and Hisu and Bravery making a return. Uh, five star raids we have Nine Hello throughout the event, and then Mega raids we have Mega Handum. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's okay. I don't know about the Tentacruel. Why the Tentacruel is there? <laughs> Papa Hanky loves him, man. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, Field Riches Encounters, of course, will encounter with Staryu and, you know, Chinese Staryu. Oh, um, my. Uh, just that. That's it. That, nothing else. Um, I understand it's the cosmic, astral, whatever thing is event, but Staryu doesn't receive, doesn't, doesn't need dude, as, many, as much love, guys. Dude, it, it literally sucks. I, I really wish we had other research. <laughs> I really do. Because yeah. that, that's going to bring down the score for this event a lot. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, uh, give me. Drowsy, finally got to me. Uh, collection challenge. We actually have two collection challenges. One for Lunala and one for Solgaleo. It's more just catching the Pokemon related to that Pokemon itself. So it is what it is. Uh, the avatar items. We'll have a very cool Solgaleo wings. I'm sorry, Solgaleo what? mask, Lunala wings, uh, Lunala pants, Solgaleo shoes, and Galaxy socks, which I don't think anybody ever cares about that. So, <laughs> Dude, I, did, I didn't even know these were a thing. Yeah, get them in the in game shop today. And you also get like a like a you already had like a Cosmo hat yeah. or shirt or something. I don't know. The Cosmog shirt's really cute. Yeah, another face on your face, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's the actual event, the final event of the month, final event of the year of the uh, season of lights. <clears throat> uh, mm, thoughts? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Uh, I, de I definitely think it's a fun event. I think all of the videos they've done online uh, have definitely done a really good job of hyping it up. Right. Uh, I just wish I could get both right now. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, you, you got to pick one for the moment. And then, you know, whichever one you want less, uh, you'll get in the future. I should have picked Lunala. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, people, actually, somebody on one of our discourse, local discourse, actually did put the rating in PvP for Solgaleo. I and do know Lunala has way worse moves right now. It, it does. But Solgaleo right now is number six in the Master League. Holy cow. Yeah, it, it's got some insane typing. It does. And uh, fire types are kind of underwhelming in Master League, so... Uh, I'm pretty. Does Sogala? Yeah, doesn't it get a fire move? I know it gets uh, psychic fangs. I'm not sure. Let me check that right now since I have my Sogala right here. Uh, fire spin. Iron fire hands, spin. I don't know what the second move could be. But yeah, I mean, it is trainer there and everything like that. Scientist E, welcome. Thank you so much for coming by. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fire Spin is the recommended quick move with Psychic Fang and Iron Head. Very interesting. Psychic I saw Fang. some people had uh, extra large ones already. People were memeing on them, but uh, it's really whatever you want to put your rare extra large candy on. That's true, because you can't really get them unless you have a lot of extra large candy or a lot of regular candy for this. Level 50 will be the ones you're looking for, and I believe, because I don't have somewhat of a decent one, uh... It maxes out at 4,483. Actually, probably a little bit more than that because it's not the hundo. So that's I'm surprised it's so high, though. That's awesome. It is, and that's why I picked Solgaleo and more than anything. I like Solgaleo better. I'm more of a, the, you know, the pure lighter kind of guy. So. <laughs> 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 oh, And I do love the shiny pro a lot more than Lunar at that point. But both of them really? are Really? I'm, I'm a moon bat kind of guy. Yeah, well. you need. But uh, our Master League specialist has to have a good Master League team, so... Well, I mean, <laughs> I got no problems with that. Let, let me check my candy, my, my rare candy and extra large candy resort right now. Uh, 203 Coughing. rare candy and five extra large candy. So I'm dead. It's like I'm nothing. Anyways, um, but yeah, that's the event. Once again, we'll give out a full raise probably next week once we have the full news of December. Um, if anything, we'll probably try to do it, uh, the podcast on Thursday just because we're so close to the event ending and re-entering a brand new season so we'll see how it goes maybe this podcast will only be here for now it is what it is anyways <laughs> that's that and then just like we were mentioning before 
Niantic has been going full force for this Ultra Beast arrival event happening tomorrow, which at the same time, Europe and London and in Los Angeles in the United States, we're having two different types of events. Well, same event, just different places. Uh, uh, on the news, uh, Los Angeles is happening. It's imminent that Ultra Beasts are some kind of event is happening that day. Tomorrow, you can actually watch it on the Pokemon Go's official Twitch channel to see what it happens. Uh, happening on Saturday, November 26th at 7 p.m. PST, which is Pacific time, Los Angeles time. Uh, there's something else happening in London. I don't think they're doing any type of coverage for that from the Twitter, from Twitch or anything like that. There's going to be a mini collection challenge, however, that you can actually have. I did get the code to do that. So I have that mini collection challenge. All I have to do is catch a Nihello and I'll get a really? bunch of Nihello candy. Um, not a bunch, but just, and you, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, once redeemed, of course, you'll get the, until Wednesday, November 34th. So you get four days to finish this. I'll just be doing one I hello tomorrow, and then I'll be done with that anyways. And then how to obtain the code, which you have to go to the Twitch live stream to see what's happening and things like that. So, and uh, yes, I am. I hope you are doing well, too. But yeah, uh, I'll probably just be looking at it. Uh, 7 p.m. is, what, 9? No, 10 o'clock for us here. Uh, luckily, I don't work on Monday either, so I'm good there. <laughs> uh, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10 o'clock our time. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be covering it live or anything like that. I'm probably just going to be watching it while I'm the bed, doing a couple of extra raids at the end of the day, <laughs> remotely, because that's how it is. Anyhow, uh, any thoughts on this, Chris? I don't know. They're, they're really going ham, because this is not the only thing that they've been doing. They've been doing, you know, posters and sending people some care packages for the Ultra Beast and all that. You know, all these kind of things. I Like I said, I do <laughs> like the lore. Is it really going ham for this? Worth it? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I appreciate all the work they're putting into, like, kind of advertising it. Uh, I, I think the videos with the Ultra Beasts are some of the coolest videos. Because uh, yeah. usually we just get, you know, the legendaries just screaming. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that, that can get kind of... Uh, repetitive. Yeah. So yeah, this this is awesome, you know. Yeah, I uh, kind of like found footage stuff. That's true. Uh, the whole mysterious kind of thing that I thought it was only going to be part of the summer or you know the Halloween and stuff and everything like that. It has yeah. it has been doing good. They have put a lot of work into it. I you know it's a good good promotize event kind of thing and all that. Uh, and a literally a really good lore to the end of the season in the end of the day, you know, so Galen Lunana swooping in to help us fight the Ultra Beasts for the last time, uh, the Ultra Beasts coming in in waves and being as powerful as they are. I just haven't actually looked into any Ultra Beasts at this point, and I'm just, uh, my, my mind is just, I gotta finish that book, like, since Carlos Mother, like, right now. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I'm still thinking about how, uh, Professor Willow went into a wormhole, and, and just came back. <laughs> and came back and was like, oh, man, I'm, ever. I'm the same guy. <laughs> Bro, they better change those costumes for the leader soon, because I am having... No, 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 no. <laughs> it's the true colors of Mystic. Uh... No, no, you're not going to get me. I'll stay, but I don't know. I, it's getting to the point. I'm just like, no. Anyhow, uh, yeah, uh, interesting enough. That's weird. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it when it comes down to the news, if I think about it. Uh, there's really not much covering from the rest of it. We'll see how it goes next week. Um, when it comes to the final month of the year, uh, we already kind of have a little bit here and there. Uh, but I hope that Niantic has, you know, has some time to recuperate, especially with the boxes being as crap as it's been for the last three months. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it is how it is. Let's get into some PvP action. Get good, get right. Here we go, Chris. Uh, so this week is the final week of GBL. Um, Coming up, actually. <laughs> this coming week is the final week, and we are in Master League and the Catch Cup, which the Catch Cup this time around is more of a seasonal Catch Cup, which all three months worth of the season, you're able to power up Pokemon. If you get a good, you know, Stunfisk uh, out of the three months, that's pretty much all you need. But, you know, so... Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not too worried about that. Master League, I was thinking of doing a final push this last few, next few days. 
Um, but unfortunately, just like something good comes out of the new update, something bad has been going on for GBL. And unfortunately, GBL is just broken. It's been bad since the last update and people are not happy, really not happy about this. It's honestly uh, kind of uh, crazy that they found a way to make GBL worse <laughs> with the next update. When? Uh, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Uh, do, do I think this is worth the the difference in speed? Yes. Uh, that's coming from somebody that doesn't GBL very often, though. For well, people that GBL every day, this has to be infuriating. Yeah, and... And, and, you know, just like scientists, he said, the first day they messed up on the Catch Cup, too. So it was kind of like, okay, this is this is weird, but it is what it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Niantic um, being Niantic. Niantic Cat being Niantic what it is. So, especially because, look, the Papa, Papa Hanky is probably sitting with the cat like the perchin. You know, Giovanni just being, like, stroking the cat and then just, like, mess something up. You the know? cat's hitting the <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I can do for the final few battles. I am rank um, 16, which is higher than I had in a while. So I only need a few more ranks to actually get to that point. So I don't know if this will be my final push at the end of the season. Yeah, I feel like if they had better raid bosses, a lot more people would have tried this uh, season. But well, they still with no shiny chance, man. They, they they still you know broken the encounters in GBL for the, the legendaries. I think you still oh, get yeah. like right, and they haven't fixed that either. So I'm like, um, now you have to, do you understand that there's also a, like a regional event happening in in uh, Latin America right now, right? It's like <laughs> the world is watching. Do something, anyhow. Uh, and then we have some fraction updates. Actually, the biggest update that we had, uh, I don't know, did we talk about it last week, Chris or? Um, I think we did, right? I don't, re I don't remember talking about the last week of factions. I don't think so. Um, but we did level up from copper to bronze. So that's pretty Whoop. good. Yay. Good job. Team. Oh, yeah. We, we were like speculating. Um, mm. But yeah, we, we did solidify that. Yes. We solidified our engagement to the next tier. We'll see how it goes. Now people are going to be even stronger than ever. I gotta get my game on. Uh, the next season is actually happening. What this Monday? Uh, Bear with us, guys, because we're like, we're trying. <laughs> I'll to be see. real. Uh, yeah, registration begins on Monday. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, and then it closes December third, which is Saturday, and then it will start on the sixth. Okay, so we got a little bit of time to really plan it out, but we actually already have planned it out. Chris and I are staying, staying with Switch Masters. Um, myself in the Master League. Chris, I think you're still thinking of what cop or special team are you uh, doing? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do a Sylph League, uh, just because I, I do like the Sylph Leagues a lot with a uh, stricter uh, meta. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I found it funny. Somebody said on Twitter, yo, people show no loyalty. They'd be jumping around like there's million dollar bounties. <laughs> 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 like a uh, million dollar sign-ons for switching uh, groups. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I uh, yeah, Switchmaster has been fun though. <laughs> it's been it's been fun. Uh, I do have somewhat of a coach uh, for this season, so I can oh? do a little bit better. Um, it's uh, our good friend. Let me actually remember. Good friend of the the uh, Loudmouth fifty three. It is okay. So he's going. Okay, to be, I uh, thought so. I just wasn't so, sure. Yeah, he's going to be like a back uh, handed to the coach here. Uh, I do think that I have very well knowledge when it comes to the Master League, but I just I'm not practicing enough to actually give it a good thought in the end of the day. So um, I'm gonna try to see if that will help me. Um, we do have somewhat of a uh, information about how the cups are going to be. Uh, the Great League, there is an S tier restriction and an A tier restriction when it comes down to it. Uh, there's a list of Pokemon here, Ooh. and each one of them, Color Burst and Sneasel, are still banned. Uh, the Ultra Leagues, similarly to the Ultra Leagues and the Great Leagues, S tier restriction and then A tier restrictions. Uh, Galdian Burst are still banned because they're so rare. Uh, Mr. Say, welcome. Can I trade you? I uh, don't I don't spoof, so I can't do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then there's a Ultra League for Circle 4. It says a state about the Ultra League specialist role is returning to open format for Cycle 3. 
However, a unique Ultra League meta is in the works for Sickle 4, so I, they're thinking of doing something specifically for the next cycle. Uh, hmm. Master League, this time Master League will have a somewhat of a point system to actually be see what's eligible and what's not. Um, Interesting. For me, we have four points in the S tier, three points in the A tier, B point is uh, B tier is two points, and then C tier is one point. Anything below that is zero points. However, uh, it's an eight point system available to build their teams based on the point structure below. Mega Charis are Y, Mega Charis are Mega Gengar, Mega Gyarados, Mega Latios, and Latios are banned from the Master League, so you cannot use them. Whoa. Uh, however, that doesn't mean that the other Megas are, so here are basically the point system. In the S tier, we have Mewtwo, Dialga, Satian, Mega Agron, and Mega Scyther. Um, Surprised the Agron is so high up in the list. I guess I'm missing something there that I'm not anything about. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I think it's just the fact he's the only rock boy. That's, True. That's so weird, though. That could happen. Um, a tier, three points. Of course, we have Lugia, Ho Ho, Groudon, uh, Kyogre, Palkia, Giratina, Originen, uh, Giratina, Alter, Mayoletta, Saru, Mega Blastoise, and Mega Steelix. Uh, if you have really the candies for Saru and Mayoletta, that's great. If not, good luck to you, I guess. Mega Blastoise and Mega Steelix being in that tier is also very okay. Um, <clears throat> of course, we know how uh, Lugia, Ho Ho, Groudon, and Kyogre, even Palkia and Giratina are just like insane yeah no how much you look at it yeah they they gave you a lot of uh a lot of uh diversity at least by not putting more things in four points uh well we have the two points here and we have Sekarom, Cernias, Jabelto, Melmetal, Mew, Mega Charizard X, Mega Alter, and Mega Ababa Snow. Uh Cernias being finally unbeta and unrestricted out of the meta so we are finally able to see how powerful that new uh fairy type is. I am actually like Really You're debating it. it. I'm debating it. <laughs> and I have my hondo, so I'm ready for it anyways. <laughs> uh, in, tier, in C tier 1 point, we have Dragonite, Reshiram, Land, uh, Landorus Theorem, Landorus Incarnate, Genesect, Mega Venusaur, and Mega Alagasm. Now, the reason why I have an emphasis on Genesect, because I have seen the power of that a Pokemon. Vendetta. Oh my god, I have... <laughs> I really do have a vendetta against that Pokemon. A revenge <laughs> for this cycle against that Pokemon. It literally destroyed me one of the cycle in one of the matches. And I'm just like, I need... Either I need a good one, or I need to go against it. So it's really yeah. going to be interesting when it comes down to it. Anytime I get beat by a Pokemon in a meta, uh, I look at either all the things that beat it, or I put it on my team. <laughs> Every <laughs> single yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, any Pokemons outside of the zero point tier, the D tier, outside of the S, A, B, or C. Uh, however, the Pokemons, the Mega Pokemons that are permitted are, of course, the Mega Beedrill, Pidgeot, Slowbro, Kangaskhan, Aerodactyl, Ampharos, Houndoom, uh, Manetric, Absol, Bennett, and Lopunny, which I don't think I see them doing that much damage. I mean, Mega Beedrill really didn't do anything last season. Uh, so it's nearly nothing that we are super concerned about. However, you know, any other Pokemons outside of the point system will be eligible. If you want to do everything zero tier, good luck to you. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah if, if, if somebody wins doing all zero points, uh, good on them, but it's... Sorry. It's really... <laughs> it's, not it's, it's almost so impossible, but hey, somebody out there will be crazy enough to try. <laughs> I mean, if you're able to do it, send me a clip, but yeah. <laughs> and then we do have our specialists and... Metas, we do have the Ember Battlefield for one of the metas, the Bangar Battlefield, which uh, there's a lot going on about it. You want to talk about that or? Um, I might just touch on it really quick. Uh, the ones that are allowed for Ember is Electric Fire Grass uh, Ground, as well as Aloman Muck, Hisuian Quillfish, Honchcrow, Machamp, uh, Malmar, Polyrath, po uh, Primeape, and Surfetched. I think it's interesting. Uh, that they're starting to try and put in Pokemon that aren't with the typing. Right. Um, but, you know, just want to throw it in the meta. Uh, the bands are Pokemon with Dragon, Rock, and Steel typing in Mud Boys, Water Slash Ground. It's very funny to see them say Mud Boys in mm. a, uh, what you would think is a more like... Uh, Professional site. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so I, that made me chuckle. Um, Obama Snow... Diggersby, Dugtrio, Lantern, Nidoqueen, Ninetales, Pachirisu, Salazzle, Stunfisk, Whimsicott are not permitted. 
Uh, megas and shadows are also not permitted, uh, which, you know, when you go to put in your team, it, it won't even let you okay. uh, try to put them in. That's interesting. Uh, the, huh? That's interesting, I think. Yeah. Uh, Vanguard. Uh, this one is going to be uh, teams of six that will be comprised of Pokemon with the following pick restrictions. Uh, so this is a slot uh, choice kind of thing. Uh, you choose Pokemon f- with either a Ice or Water typing. Frostlast, Jellicent, uh, Kingdra, and Polyrath cannot be picked for the slot, but can be picked elsewhere. Uh, slot 2. Choose a Pokemon with Fighting Ground or Rock typing. Slot 3. Pick a Pokemon with Ghost or Poison typing. Uh, slot 4. Choose one Pokemon with Dragon or Flying typing. I, th- I think it's interesting they word it or. Uh, I'm curious if you can use an and... Oh mm-hmm. wait, no. I I think they I think they did that in the bands actually. Mm-hmm. Uh slots five and six. Uh choose two Pokemon with water, ground, rock, poison, or flying typing. However, ice fighting ghost and dragon are banned in that team slot uh for five and six. Uh the bands. Mega. Pokemon with dark, fairy, steel typing. Uh plus any Pokemon in generation seven. And onwards, including their car, uh, corresponding forms: Alolan, Galarian, Hisuian, uh, Obama Snow, Lantern, Medicham, Trevenant, and Altaria mm. are not permitted. That's, uh, that's yeah, I was, yeah, I was thinking about Altaria when I said the dragon or flying. I was like, what about and flying? Mm. Um, yeah, it, it's a very interesting uh, meta for sure. I think that does a lot more uh, variety. Uh, in most cases, when they make you choose things kind of like this, uh, but it, I, I feel like it makes people think uh, a lot more differently than they normally would oh, when yeah. making a team, uh, which is good and bad. But uh, I'm very interested in uh, the Vanguard battlefield, but I'll probably play the Ember. Yeah. I it, gotta look through it, though. It's really more of a full restricted, more like, you, if you have the Pokemon, you can do it. Um, I know there's a rating out there in PB Poke that probably has good on the Vanguard Battlefield. It's just really hard yeah. to be like, okay, remember, in this slot, you can only choose this Pokemon or this Pokemon just because of how it's restricted or not, depending on that same form slots 2 through 6 and all that. It's, it's like chess, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's and weird. That's, and that's the thing. like One wrong move or one wrong Pokemon, and you're stuck with them for... However, cycle of matches do you have, depending on how they are. You know, I know you can change them throughout the season, but um, it's just more like how and well those slots are going to coordinate with each other, knowing if, you know, the team is strong enough to defeat what's out there in the meta. And you don't even know what yeah. you're going to, you know, you're going to face. You can pretty much know what you're going to face, if depending on how the typings that you can choose in some of the first few slots. It's just more and more. It gets harder and harder to pick what Pokemon will be good for the future ones. And then, of course, the, even the, the restricted and, I'm sorry, the bans on the Pokemons, you know, you know, Dark Fairy and Steel types and, and all that. Generous 7 and all more. So basically anything from 1 through 6 that are allowed, which is really interesting because I know there's some 7s that are somewhat okay. Um, and things like that, you know. So uh, that's, that's really my thought about it. Uh, it just cracks my brain. I don't ever think I can ever think of that that strong when it comes down to it. So, um, but yeah, that's the silt uh, frac- uh, factions. Once again, we'll keep you guys posted for the following uh, news. So stay tuned as much as you can. Uh, with that being said, Chris, you got anything else uh, you want to cover here? Um, nothing I can think of. I think we covered everything. That is good. So once again, I do want to say thank you so much for listening, everybody. Uh, Thank you for anybody who's listening in the podcast services fees. Make sure you check us out, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Arha Radio, or many of those places. If you can leave us a review, we greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, Follow our social media, myself at Pure Let It Go, Chris at PKMN Trigger, please. There's also a Purify Podcast uh, Twitter fee, if if I ever post on that anyways. (laughs) Um, email us anything purifypodcast at gmail.com and join our discord for anything related to Pokemon Go or Pokemon main series because that's how we are these days don't forget to check us out at the purifypodcast.com the professor network 
Uh, and yeah, Chris, take us away for the night because I got to complete a Pokedex. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, yeah. With all the Ultra Beasts in Pokemon Go, uh, definitely exciting. Uh, we're definitely waiting on a nice shiny to come to uh, raids. But uh, yeah, uh, lots of Pokemon to hunt. Lots of things to look forward to if you're a PvPer, uh, get in a faction, throw some hands. Uh, <laughs> if you're just a, you know, even a casual player, uh, there's a lot to do right now. So, yeah, hope you guys have a good one. See you guys next week. Peace out. Keep your fun, everybody. We'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.